Okay, now for question four from practice paper A. This is for the pure one, pure mathematics one, um, international A level IAL syllabus. Some practice questions, as there's a lack of past papers and this new, um, new specification. Now, question number four from this paper: You have been given a an equation. Um, f of x equals x squared minus k plus 8x plus 8k plus 1. And we need to find the discriminant of f of x in terms of k, giving the answer as a simplified quadratic. Okay, so basically this is a quadratic equation that we have here already. x squared minus k plus 8x plus 8k plus 1. So it's in the form um, f of x equals ax squared plus bx plus c. Okay. And in, in this case, A is equal to 1, and B is equal to, be careful about this, it's minus K plus 8, okay, minus K plus 8, you've got to be careful about that, and C is equal to 8K plus 1. So we, got, we know the discriminant of the quadratic equation is the part of the quadratic equation which is under the square root. This is the discriminant, b squared minus 4ac. So what we're interested in, in is this part of it, b squared minus 4ac. It's called the discriminant because it discriminates between how many solutions the quadratic equation will have. Okay, um, so b squared minus 4ac, you're going to have minus, minus k plus 8 squared. Okay, it's going to become positive anyway. Uh, b squared minus 4 times a times c, which is 8k plus 1. So we'll see what that gives us. Of course, this is going to be k plus 8 squared, which is k squared plus 16k plus 64. I've just expanded it. Of course, the minus will become a positive. And k plus 8 times k plus 8 is k, let me write that better, k plus 8 plus uh, times k plus 8 is going to be k squared plus 8k plus 8k, which is plus 16k plus 64. And you've got here minus 4 times 8, which is minus 32. Okay, minus 32k, this is a k here. Okay, and four to minus 4 times 1 is minus 4. Be careful about your negative signs. So now let's just... Um, Collect the like terms. K squared is on its own. You've got 16k minus 32k, which is minus 16k. Okay, and you've got 64 minus 4, which is plus 60. That is the discriminant of f of x, what b squared minus 4ac. Okay, b squared minus 4ac is a discriminant. And it's a discriminant because it's the part of the quadratic formula which is under the square root so it tells us how many solutions there's going to be. If it's positive 2, if it's negative, there's no solutions and if it's equal to 0 there will be only one solution. Okay, so now part b. If the equation f of x equals 0 has two equal roots, find the possible values of k. So if it has two equal roots that means b squared minus 4ac must equal 0. Now we know what b squared minus 4ac is, it's k squared minus 16k plus 60 and we've got to solve the equation okay so we've got to think of two numbers that multiply to give us 60 and add to give us minus 16 well they both must be negative inside the bracket here and two numbers um, 10 and 6 very easy 10 and 6 10 and 6 and that's going to be minus 16 if you add them together and six plus 6 if you, if, you if you multiply them. So k is equal to 10 and k is equal to 6. When k is equal to 10, there will be two solutions. There will only be one solution um, for this. And when k is equal to 6, there will also be only one solution to this. Okay, that's part B. Okay, then part C. It says, show that when k equals 8, f of x is greater than 0 for all values of x. So we have here, um, when k is equal to 8. So let's take this, x squared minus k plus 8x. So x squared, hold on, what, what do we have? Have we got the discriminant? k 
Okay, is equal to eight. Yeah. Okay, so you got x squared. Uh, whoops, going the wrong way. X squared minus um, k plus eight x plus eight k plus one minus k plus eight times x plus eight k plus one. Let me just make sure one more time. X squared minus k plus eight x plus eight k plus one, and it says for us. To show when k equals 8, then f of x is greater than 0. So when k is equal to 8, you're going to have x squared minus 16x plus, you're going to have 8 times 8, which is 64 plus 1, which is 65. Okay, so this is what f of x is going to be. Okay, now, there are a number of ways for us to tackle this problem. Okay, probably the most comprehensive, the nicest way to show this um, is to use completing the square. Okay, now if I complete the square for this, if I complete the square for this, uh, what I'm going to have is I'm going to have x minus a half of this coefficient, so it's x minus 8 squared. Okay, now that x minus 8 squared, okay, um, if I expand it, it will give me x squared minus 16x, but then I have plus 64, so I don't want that plus 64, so I'm going to take away that 64. Now, what I have here is exactly the same as this part. These two are exactly the same now. You get x squared plus 16x plus 64 minus 64, so you'll end up with x squared minus 16x, but we've got the plus 65 at the end, so you have to add that. So we end up with f, f of x is equal to x minus 8 squared plus 1. That's f of x. Now, to, to prove that this is always greater than 0, we can say that x minus 8 squared will always be greater than or equal to 0 okay for all values of x for all values of x okay so that's going to be the minimum the, the lowest this thing can ever get is 0 therefore fx must be greater than or equal to so greater than fx must be greater than 0 for all values of x. What we could say is, therefore, um, x minus 8 squared plus 1 will always be greater than or equal to 1, won't it? Okay, the, the lowest this can ever be is 1, so this will always be greater than or equal to 1. So if that's true, then the, the f, of, f of x must always be greater than or equal to zero for all values of x, for all x, for all x values, for all x values. Need to restart this thing. Okay, and there we have the answer to that question. Okay, that's part C done.